हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर से कीप मी नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस टू प्रॉब्लम्स सो द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम सेज दैट लोकेट द सेंटर ऑफ ग्रेविटी एक्स बार ऑफ द होमोजीनियस रॉड इफ द रॉड हैज अ वेट पर यूनिट लेंथ ऑफ हंड्रेड न्यूटन पर मीटर डिटरमाइन द वर्टिकल रिएक्शन एट ए एंड द एक्स एंड वाई कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ रिएक्शन एट पिन बी and in the second problem it is said that locate the center of gravity y bar of the homogeneous ride so first of all i will find x bar and y bar and then i will solve i will find the reactions at the support so is we know that x bar into integral dl will be equal to x tilde dl integral and similarly for y bar y bar into dl will be equal to y tilde dl so we have these two equation now we will define differential length so here let's say that this is my differential length so its length is dl and by pythagoras theorem if, if this is dl then this is this is dx this is dy this is dl so we can say that dl is equal to dx square plus dy square under the square root and similarly the profile of this y is given as a function of x so y is equal to x square y equals to x square or uh, if i take the derivative so dy by dx is 2x so i can say that dy equals to 2x dx so then dl equals to dx square and dy is 2x dx so if we take square of this so dy square is 4x square dx square so 4x square dx square under the square root and we can take dx square common so this will be 1 plus 4x square into dx square under the square root and if we apply this square root on this dx and this so we will have 1 plus 4x square under the square root and dx outside of the square root so this is dl so now we have that dl so from this equation we can write that x bar is equal to x tilde so x tilde let me write that this is x tilde dl and dl is 1 plus 4x square under the square root into dx divided by the integral of this dl so dl is 1 plus 4x square under the square root dx now x tilde is the location of the centroid of uh this differential length from the y axis is so this is our x tilde this length is x tilde so let's say that the centroid of this differential length is somewhere here so then this is x tilde so is this differential length is located at a distance of x from the origin so this means that x tilde is equal to x so i can replace this x tilde by x so this will be x and now as we can see that um, this length is from 0 until 1 in the x direction since the integration is with respect to x and the x limits are from x equals to 0 until x equals to 1 so we need to integrate this from 0 to 1 and this is from 0 to 1 now we can find these integrals using calculator so we can use it this is square root Uh, outside of square root we have x x 1 plus 4 x square and this is from 0 until 1 so the numerator comes out to be 0.8484 so 0.8484 and now we will find this integral so everything is remain the same but here we have we need to remove this so this is 1 plus 4x square under the square root 
So this gives us 1.4789, 1.4789. And this will be in meters since this is integral of dl. So this is the total length. If we apply this integral, so this will be equal to total length. So this is the total length. So from this we can say that the length of this wire is 1.4789 meters, remember. So now we can write that x bar is equal to 0 0.8484 divided by the answer which was the length of the wire. So this gives us 0 0.574. So x bar is 0 0.574 meters. Similarly, we can find y bar. So y bar is equal to y tilde and dl is 1 plus 4x square under the square root into dx and integral is again from 0 to 1. 1 plus 4x square under the square root dx. Integral is from 0 to 1. So this is that same total length, right? So we can replace the, it by that value 1.4789. And again, y tilde is the location of the centroid of this differential length from the x-axis. So y tilde is this distance. This is y tilde. And again, this differential length is located at a distance of y from the origin. So then this means that y tilde is equal to y. So we can say that y tilde is equal to y. And again, y, y is given as a function of x since the integration is with respect to x. So we have to replace this by x square. So this is y is equal to x square 1 plus 4x square under the square root 0 to 1. And we know this integral value, right? So this integral value is one point. 4789. So we need to find this. So now we have x square here. This is x square and everything remains the same. So this is 0 0.6063. 0 0.6063 divided by 1.4789. So we will divide this answer by 1.4789. This gives us 0 0.41 approximately. Or we can say that 0 0.409 meters y bar. Now the center of gravity of this bar is at a distance of 0 0.574 from the origin in the x direction. So somewhere here is 0 0.574. So 0 0.5 will be somewhere here and it is somewhere here. And similarly, the y bar is 0 0.409, right? So this, this length is 0 0.409 meters and this length is 0 0.574 meters approximately. And now the total weight of this bar will pass through this center of gravity. So if I draw that, so this is that weight, total weight. So we are given the weight per unit length. So let's say that the weight per unit length is small w, which is 100 Newton per meter. So the total weight will be equal to this small w times the length. So this is 100 and the length is 1.4789. So 1.4789. So 100 into 1.4789 gives us 147.89. So 147.89 is the weight in Newtons. So now we need to find the reactions at the support. So at A, uh, we will have only one reaction since it, it, here we have that roller support. So this is AY and here we will have BX and BY. 
so now if we apply the summation of moment about point b equals to zero so as we can see that this a y is producing the clockwise moment so i will write minus a y and the moment arm of this a y from that point b is one meter so we need to multiply it with one Similarly, this weight is producing the counterclockwise moment. So this is plus weight is 147.89. And the perpendicular distance of this weight from that point B is this much distance. So this will be equal to 1 minus the x bar 0.574. So we will write 1 minus 0 0.574 and this will be equal to zero and if i bring this to the other side so it will become positive so it will have plus a y so 147.89 into 1 minus 0 0.574 this gives me 63 so a y is approximately equals to 63 newtons Similarly, if we apply the summation of forces along x equals to 0, so as we can see that only bx is acting in the horizontal direction, so bx from this we can say that bx is equal to 0. And similarly, if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0, so this by is acting in the positive y, this is our positive y direction, so by minus that weight which is 147.89 and plus a y which is 63 and this is equal to 0 so minus 147.89 plus 63 it minus 84.89 so b y minus 84.89 equals to 0 or we can say from this equation that by equals to 84.89 newton so this is by so this is the x bar of the centroid or the center of gravity is 0 0.574 meters y bar is 0 0.409 meters and a y is 63 newtons and b y is 84.89 and b x is equal to 0 so this is the solution of this problem kindly subscribe my channel for the solution of such more problems